Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to calculate the variance of a NumPy array. Okay, so suppose we um, import the NumPy library and now we want to calculate the variance of um, some football goals. So we have goals in five matches and suppose we have goals of Croatia and we create a NumPy array with um, uh, the value 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, okay. And we have some goals of France. And we also create a NumPy array of uh, some values. And France has not quite uh, so many goals. Okay, now we have uh, the two NumPy arrays, goals France and goals Croatia. And we want to calculate the NumPy array. So suppose uh, in C uh, we store the variance of goals Croatia. Okay, now we can print the output of C and you can see yeah, the variance is uh, 0 0.96 and so basically the variance is the squared standard deviation. So uh, we first of all it uh, internally calculates the mean value of the NumPy array and then it calculates the deviation of each of those values to the mean value and um, then it sums up this deviation and um, takes the square root and the variance is the squared square root basically so the sum of all uh, deviations okay and um, yeah if you calculate the variance of France we also use the call npvar goes France and you can see that if you print France the variance should be smaller yes so basically, uh, the it was you can say it's more as France uh, shot less goals overall. Um, the deviation from the mean is not so uh, significant than uh, the goals from Croatia. Okay, um, that's it. That's how you calculate the basic variance. You can also use a more advanced one. So suppose we have a two-dimensional array, like um, just call it A is a numpy array of zero so ones and twos in the second line yeah so we have two lines and uh, two rows and uh, three columns in this array and now suppose we want to calculate the variance of um, along the first um, axis now we can uh, simply put in A and axis 0 and now you can see that it calculates for each so it has uh, uh, three values and each value is the uh, uh, variance along the axis here the, along this axis 1 2 the variance of course the mean value is 1.5 so the variance is 0.25 and uh, as we have the same two values along this um, axis uh, we basically have uh, the same variance for each uh, value so, and uh, if you specify axis equals zero this means that you will get as many values as there are in the zeros uh, zeros uh, zeros axis and the uh, first axis yes Okay, that's it. So you can uh, we can also calculate the variance along the um, second axis, and you can see as the second axis we have two rows. So now it calculates the var variance for each row. Okay, thanks for listening, and see you soon.